I've been married for five years, yet still haven't developed the husband habit of putting the toilet seat down for my wife. Russell! Oh, are you kidding me? Uh, babe? You okay? And at first, I didn't think it was that big a deal, and honestly, didn't think I was that bad at forgetting to put the toilet seat down. But then my wife made a toilet tally chart. Yeah, she went there. Where for the month of February, she counted every time that she found the toilet seat up. And considering my kids don't use the toilet yet, every single one of those tallies is totally my fault. <laughs> My wife bet me that I would leave it up more than once per day on average. And well, she won that bet. And now I'm on dad diaper duty until I've changed enough diapers for every single tally. You made a big mess. <laughs> and I don't even know why I'm so bad at forgetting to put the toilet seat down or why it's such a big thing in our marriage. Other than to say, she grew up in a family of girls and I grew up in a family of mostly boys. But after thinking about it, the stakes are much higher for my wife if she doesn't realize that the toilet seat's up than if I don't realize the toilet seat's down. If I don't realize the seat's down, it's fixed with a quick wipe. If she doesn't realize it's up, well, each one of those tally marks is an opportunity for her to fall in and for me to be on dad diaper duty. Oh my gosh. Yeah. How far up does it go? I don't like being on dad diaper duty. <laughs> And so I came up with an invention to make sure I never leave the toilet seat up ever again. Meet the toilet trainer. Anytime I leave the seat up, this sign lights red to let me know. And then beeps at me if I leave it up for longer than one minute. Kind of like when you leave the refrigerator door open for too long. By the way, my wife wanted me to ask you to hit the like button if you think I should be on dad diaper duty more often. This Hall Effect sensor, which can sense the magnetic field from this magnet, uses a microcontroller to wirelessly send a signal to the frame whenever the magnet on the toilet seat is not in front of it. A microcontroller is essentially a really simple computer that runs a single set of instructions over and over again. There's also a microcontroller behind the frame that controls the lights and the beeping sound whenever the magnet on the seat is lifted up. And just in case the sign malfunctions or the battery runs out, I painted the underside of the seat with this glow-in-the-dark paint, which my son thinks is pretty epic. What you doing, Ash? Just painting. And now that my wife's number one pet peeve is officially solved, I can focus my energies on her number two pet peeve, which is me not putting my clothing where it's supposed to go. This is my not clean, but also not yet dirty pile. And that's my pile of clothes that I take off right before bed. This will be a future video and well, if you're not subscribed, you're probably gonna miss it.